undaunted Granga Ruka, Buggy Haynes Trinidad International, is in charge of this football coaching session. And with me is Selvin Charles, the Parliamentary Secretary for Sport and Youth Affairs. He spoke about his department's new coaching program. Selvin, who's initiated this program? Well, this is an idea I had since I took up office to engage and to have the top international players of Trinidad involved in some way to do some coaching in various areas throughout the country. So I started with Buggy Haynes and Everett Cummins. Those two boys have influence on the youths, especially in the country. And I think with these two starting the sessions with the youths, the turnout has been very good since these two boys have started. How many venues are, are taking in during this program? Well, for Buggy Haynes in his area, there are four venues. And for Buggy, I must say, the people at Bugma Larches, the youths, especially access to have Buggy Haynes there. And I think in that area is the biggest turnout. I think over 75 youths attend his sessions. What's the age group of these boys? Well, generally from about the primary school age to secondary school level. Is this a follow-up to Mike Lang's coaching program that was done by the Ministry of sort of, in, in a sort of In a sort of way, but generally I took it as an idea to spread it throughout the country. I would probably look for some of the other top Trinidad players in the southern area to do some in that area of south. You mean in, in central in, south and in deep Yes, in central south any, and in deep south. In, in not, not, as, not as yet. I haven't um, started the program as yet, but I, I have to discuss with one or two of the players in the southern and central area. So this will be a continuous thing? Yes, it will be continuous. Season, season, or, uh, no, continuous. Continuous. Thank you so much. Ten minutes. Eh? Right. You, you roll it over his foot, right? I'm going to try to interrupt you. Yes. What do you think are the talents of the boys on this course? Well, it is one of the best turnouts. Yeah, I mean, you have a good turnout, but fellas and them is very good, yeah, I mean. How yeah. many players you have had on the course? Yeah. Well, uh, Ruka, you got 65. Tammy yeah, Vega, 60. 60. Pokemon Arch is nearly 70. Yeah. This sounds Saint like a fairly, a fairly solid turn around. Saint Joseph, what is the Saint Joseph is about 30, 30 something, 40, all along there, yeah. Uh, uh, these players have all come in with some sort of, I mean, football background, eh? Yes, yes. Uh, not working on them from, from scratch? Yeah, they're working on them from scratch, you know, most of them, yeah. What are your programs taking? Do you do any, the basic, ta the basic, so just, te just te techniques alone, are you doing systems of play and everything else in it? Well, they're bringing everything into it, you yeah? know, everything, you yeah. know, because I find uh, the time the time is too short. You know, I mean, three months to do everything. You know, I mean, so I got to do everything in three months. I mean, you can't do basic ones. You know, I mean, in one session and come back next time and do things. You, know? you have to do everything in one session. Try and teach them everything. You know? All in all, you know, I mean, I just see the youngsters around here. As they was they was speaking to me just now about the ground. You know, most of them. And I reached here that some of them told me I lock some of their friends with them going to come because they, they damaged their foot while practicing the last time, you know? Yeah. Well, this is a general thing in the country. We have very, very bad playing grounds. I think even in our big, big international games, we suffer from not the best grounds in the world. Yeah. But I only hope, you know, I mean, I hope they work on it, you know, I mean, because you can get more to a larger turn out there, you know? Yeah. Okay, thanks very so much, buddy. Yeah. Tell them what part is the National Sports Council play in this project? Well, actually, this is not a National Sports Council project. This is a project by my division of sports and the youth affairs to, to Buggy Haynes and Everett Cummins. I see. So they have no, no role part no, to play? No, no part to play. This is from our ministry. We started this at this level. That's fine. Norman Williams, one of the participants in this course, speaks of the course. Norman, what do you think of the course? Do you think it serves any purpose? Do you think that you got anything out of the course? Well, I, to say quite frank, I've been very impressed by the government move to uh, bring about such a course, especially um, having at our disposal Mr. Ulrich Haynes and Mr. Everett Cummins. And I think it's a very good move. I have learned quite a few techniques along with my club mates, and I hope that the government will push this through so that we may be able to serve the country as better uh, as, as future footballers of tomorrow. And, so I tell somewhere in this um, What club do you play for? Well, my club, I play for Sheffield United, which I'm a skipper.
in in Aruka. In Aruka, yeah. And what 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 position are you all in in the league? And so you one of the better clubs in the area? Well, I wouldn't say so, but um, at least since um we have been exposed to this type of um program, we have been showing a little more improvement in our game. How long have you been on the course? Well, I've been on it since um the course started, which is about two months ago. Queen's Park Savannah, another venue for this program. Here, Everett Cummins, also a Trinidad international, and one of the country's first professional footballers, controls the session. Everett, what do you think of this program? Do you think that it's the right type of program for our youth, our young footballers? It's the right type of program, except for one thing, is that we need a lot of senior people, you know, people who more follow sport, interested in sport, to come out there, you see, and meet the fellas, get them more, something more to go on, you see. Just by me alone coaching out there, it's not only what the fellas need, you see, they need more fellas, like, like for instance, if Selvin Charles can come out once in a while, you know, and meet the fellas, I think it'll give it more push. You, know, so. you think that um, if you if you carry on a program like this on a wider scale throughout the island, would be the, 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 the ideal thing for Trinidad footballers, I mean young footballers, or you think that we could do something to improve the type of program that you're undertaking now? I think the island-wide, island-wide scale, 
can can be very very much uh, at least better than uh, what I'm doing now, you know, because I only take four four areas: Karana, Saint James, Shogunas, and Newton, and we'll work together, you know. But I think if we can get fellas from if we could go all over Trinidad, you know, and get all the little fellas who even the little fellas who n never played big football before, but who have a little idea what's going on, who could even kick a, a just kick the ball and anything they could do with the ball and start them from young, they find that by us staying there and raising it, we can lift the standard of these boys, you understand, and in the next couple of years, I sh I'm sure they can be ready for big time. Uh, this sounds ideal. Edward, what exactly do you think, I mean, coaching in Trinidad should, should, should take, what pattern it should follow? I mean, you think that our administrators, football administrators and things have the right idea towards coaching, or you think that they should change, I mean, their outlook towards coaching or anything of this sort? Well, what do you think about this? I think one of the, one of the main problems why Trinidad football it dropped so much in the past years. They have the wrong people in the right places to say. But you have coaches in Trinidad who don't know right from wrong about the game. How they even trap a ball for their coaches, you see, and then make it worse. The officials themselves, you know, they don't they, they don't care much about the players. You find a player, he play a whole he play run for 90 minutes without stopping, going, and when he finish after the, the game, he can't even get some water to bathe with, you know, a, 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 some soap to him, soap his skin, you know, towels and things like that to keep it player help health here, you know, these things are not good at all because, I mean, they don't do anything else. So you think that uh, the whole sort of system of football in Trinidad should need a little um, cleaning up and so on? <laughs> it need plenty, I tell you, it need plenty because, I mean, long ago it was something to play for Trinidad, you know, represent your country, but now it's no big thing at all because, you know, the, 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 way, the way the thing's been run, you know, fellas can't afford to go into tackles like no more. Football have no glamour in it no more, you know. Have you done any sort of work in in your area, in your in your new town area or anything like this? Yeah, I did a lot of work there. I'm doing some this evening. With um, players from that area? With players from that area, yeah. Uh, Wayne, Smart, Wayne Smart and these guys? Yeah, we have fellas like Wayne Lewis and Kester Nanko and these boys, you know, yeah. who've been little boys just like me and from the same area and then who've been who playing big football now. You think that your playing and coaching that it has any your play your coaching has any effect on your on your playing or your playing has any effect on your coaching at the moment? Or? Yeah, well, it, it it does have some effect, you know, like for instance, yeah. Like I might some places are coach in the morning and have to train in the evenings and so on, you know. But once it's, it's, it's the youth, I'm concerned with you know I don't mind. Well, thanks for I'm sure you're doing a very good job for Trinidad and Trinidad young footballers. Thanks for so much. Okay. So then do you intend to extend this program to Tobago? Yes, I have intentions to extend this um, program to Tobago. Uh, Tobago is one of the places I visited um, not too long ago. I have keen interest in Tobago. The, the sportsmen in general are very interested. And the youths there would be very much interested in having a coaching program like this. You're looking forward to having some of the senior players in Tobago run the, the sessions? Well, yes, we would look forward for a senior player or probably an idol of the, the Tobagonians who would probably like him as to be one of their coaches. Who are some of the top players in Tobago you think would Well, I couldn't, say, couldn't call offhand, but the one in particular who I think would have the idol at the moment would be the daily who plays now for Malvern in Trinidad. Okay, so we look forward to this program going as far as Tobago so that our youths can come on in a big way. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>